Ever pondered how space with its infinite vastness mirrors the complexities of the human mind? As we cast our eyes to the stars, we are drawn into a realm of limitless expanse, a territory that remains largely uncharted and teeming with mysteries. This vast celestial wilderness in many ways echoes the unexplored depths of our own minds. Just like the universe, our minds are a labyrinth of untapped potentials, hidden thoughts and profound emotions. The same curiosity that propels us to venture out into the cosmos compels us to delve into the intricate maze of our mentality. We yearn to understand the stars, just as we long to comprehend our thoughts, our feelings, and our very existence. In essence, the exploration of space and the exploration of the human mind are two sides of the same coin, bound together by our insatiable thirst for knowledge and understanding. Just as we voyage into the cosmos, we also journey into the inner workings of our minds. Remember when humanity first stepped on the moon? It wasn't just a physical journey, but a psychological one. When Apollo 11, a product of human ingenuity and determination, touched down on the moon's surface in July of 1969, it wasn't just a spacecraft landing on a celestial body. It was humanity, taking a leap of faith into the unknown a step that echoed in the hearts of millions across the globe, akin to the thrill of a first date or the anticipation of a fresh start in life. The moon landing embodied the human spirit's yearning for exploration and discovery. Imagine, if you will, the trepidation that gripped the astronauts as they ventured into the uncharted territories of space, much like the courage it takes to initiate a new relationship or embark on a new phase in life. It took a considerable amount of bravery to set foot on the moon a world untouched and unknown. The fear of failure, the uncertainty of the outcome, and the thrilling possibility of success. All these emotions were entwined in that first lunar step. But alongside the fear, there was excitement. The exhilaration of exploring a new world, of standing on the precipice of a monumental discovery, mirrored the joy and anticipation we experience when we form new bonds, when we dare to let someone into our lives. It's a potent mix of fear and excitement, a cocktail that's as intoxicating in human relationships as it is in space exploration. And as we journeyed further into space, we learned more about ourselves. The moon landing wasn't just about conquering space. It was a mirror reflecting our own strengths and weaknesses, our fears and hopes, our dreams and realities. Just as we navigate the complexities of human relationships, we navigated the vast expanse of space each step revealing more about who we are and what we're capable of. And in doing so, we realize that the journey into the unknown, whether in space or in the realm of the human heart, is a journey worth embarking on. As Neil Armstrong set his foot on the moon, we stepped into a new realm of understanding ourselves. Space, in all its beauty, is a place of profound isolation. But aren't we all astronauts navigating the spaces of our own solitude? In the vastness of space, astronauts find themselves in a unique form of solitude, surrounded by a cosmic silence that few of us will ever experience. Within the confines of their spacecraft, they are millions of miles away from familiar sights, sounds, and the company of others. This isolation could be overwhelming, but they are prepared, trained to cope with the solitude and the silence. Just as astronauts grapple with isolation in the cold expanse of space, we too encounter periods of isolation in our own lives. It may not be as extreme or as tangible as the isolation felt in space, but it is isolation nonetheless. We may feel it when we move to a new city, start a new job, or even when we're surrounded by people but feel disconnected. So how do astronauts cope with isolation? They maintain routines, keep themselves physically active, and stay mentally stimulated. They communicate with their team back on Earth, sharing their experiences, their concerns, their hopes. They remind themselves of their purpose, their mission. They find comfort in the knowledge that they are part of something bigger, something extraordinary. Similarly, when we find ourselves feeling isolated, we can take a page from the astronaut's book. We can establish routines to bring structure to our days. We can keep our bodies active and our minds engaged. We can reach out to others, share our thoughts, our fears, our dreams. Even in solitude, we can remind ourselves that we are part of a larger human experience. And just as astronauts gaze upon the Earth from the solitude of space, we too can find perspective in our isolation. We can use it as an opportunity to reflect, to grow, 
to discover new aspects of ourselves. In the silence of space, we find echoes of our own solitude. But in that solitude, we also find strength, resilience, and a profound connection to the universe around us. As we navigate the spaces of our own solitude, we realize we are not alone. We are all astronauts journeying through the vast expanse of human experience. Just as celestial bodies are drawn to each other by gravity, humans too are pulled towards each other by invisible forces. Imagine, if you will, the vast expanse of the cosmos. Each celestial body, whether a planet, a moon, or a star, is held in its place by the invisible grip of gravity. This unseen force keeps the planets dancing around the sun, the moons around their planets, and the stars clustered in their galaxies. It's a cosmic ballet dictated by the laws of physics, where each celestial body knows its place and its path. Now let's draw a parallel with our lives. We humans are not so different from these celestial bodies. Just as gravity pulls the planets into their orbits, we too are drawn into the orbits of others. These orbits are not defined by physical laws, but by emotional bonds, bonds of love, friendship, shared experiences. These are the invisible forces that pull us towards each other, the gravity of our relationships. Consider love. It's a force that can pull two people together with an intensity that rivals the gravity of a supermassive black hole. It's an attraction that defies logic, sometimes pulling us towards people who are light years away from our usual orbits. Then there's the gravity of friendship, a gentler but equally powerful force. Friends become our constants, the stars that guide us through the darkest nights, their gravitational pull keeping us grounded and stable. Shared experiences too have their own gravity. They bind us to others, creating a shared orbit, a shared path. Just as celestial bodies are influenced by the gravitational pull of others, our paths are shaped by those we share our experiences with. In these orbits, we find our place in the universe, our sense of belonging. It's a dance as intricate and beautiful as that of the celestial bodies in space. We are bound to others by invisible forces drawn into their orbits, creating a tapestry of relationships that define our human existence. In the orbits of our relationships, we find the gravity of our human existence. Space, with its infinite possibilities, is a reminder of the limitless potential within each of us. Just as the universe is vast and unending, so too is the potential that lies within each and every individual. Each star that twinkles in the night sky is a testament to the endless opportunities that await us, not just in the cosmos, but right here on our home planet. The exploration of space has always been about more than just scientific discovery. It's about pushing the boundaries of what we believe is possible, about venturing into the unknown, and about challenging ourselves to reach new heights. This is not unlike the journey each one of us embarks upon in our own lives. We strive, we grow, we learn, and we continue to expand our own horizons. The cosmos doesn't just inspire us with its grandeur, it also fuels our imagination. It sparks curiosity and wonder, and encourages us to dream bigger, to reach further. Just as astronauts reach for the stars, we too can reach for our highest potentials. Consider the astronauts who have journeyed into the great expanse of the universe. They didn't get there by accepting limitations. They got there by believing in the infinite possibilities, by dreaming big and by working hard to make those dreams a reality. And just like them, we too can achieve extraordinary things when we tap into our own potential. Space exploration is a symbol of what we can accomplish when we set our minds to it. It shows us that no goal is too lofty, no dream too big, and no challenge too great. It reminds us that we are capable of greatness, of achieving things that might seem impossible. So let us take inspiration from the universe, from its vastness, its complexity, and its infinite possibilities. Let us use this inspiration to fuel our own journeys, to stoke our own fires of ambition, and to reach for our own stars. In the boundless expanse of space, we see a reflection of our own boundless potential. The final frontier isn't just out there in the cosmos, but within us as well. We've journeyed through the limitless vastness of space, mirroring the boundless depths of our own minds and emotions. We've taken those first tentative steps into the unknown, both in the cosmos and within ourselves, braving the uncertain and the unfamiliar. We've grappled with isolation, 
the stark solitude of space echoing the loneliness that can often be found in our own hearts. We've delved into the gravity of relationships, recognizing that just as celestial bodies exert influence on one another, so do we impact those around us. We've marveled at the infinite possibilities that the cosmos presents, a reflection of the limitless potential within each of us. The final frontier is not just the expanse of space that lies before us, but also the uncharted territory within our own minds and hearts. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we continue to explore the cosmos within us, the final